next stage of my journey along the coastline brings me to the Itria Valley, which for me is the food heart of the Adriatic. An agricultural region, it's celebrated for incredible ingredients and must-do food experiences. This is a place where you can enjoy a different kind of holiday. This is food lovers' paradise. The area is littered with ancient farmhouses called Masseria. Once the center of vast farm estates, many still grow traditional local produce. This one is run by Giuliano and his family. They've turned their 14th century farm into a hotel. So what is it, a masseria? A masseria in Puglia, it's a word that we use to refer to a farmhouse. Okay. So it's like an agriturismo. Yes. yes. So people can come here, yeah. you know, sleep in your rooms and exactly. enjoy, yes. you yeah. know, all the local produce, yeah. everything you got on the land. It's, it is an experience where we um, put people in touch with the nature. I love to come to um, places like this because you know that you're going to get the best food, you're going to get food that is in season. Yes. You really cannot go wrong. And yes. some of the must here is even cheaper than a, a normal hotel. So why would you not want to be here and get the best experience ever? Yes, yes. Crazy. In fact, in fact, Crazy. this is more real. This is figs time. Which yes. One? Uh, oh, pick a good one, yeah? Yes, I will. So mm -hmm. see this? If you open so, it up, technically this is called a fiorone. It comes uh, earlier than the normal figs. The texture is nice. Yes, yes, yes. Masseria were built as peasant farms in the Middle Ages. Many were then taken over by wealthy landowners in the 16th century. Most then fell into disrepair, but locals like Giuliano have bought them and restored them. Look in your Masseria from here. Yes. Everything is very pristine, beautiful. It's always been like this? Uh, no, no. When my family bought it, uh, uh, this place uh, was abandoned for about 50 years. Okay. So it was a ruin. So it took about 10 years to renovate it and, uh, and bring it back to life. This region is Italy's biggest producer of olive oil. The older the tree, the sweeter the olives. So like wine, extra virgin olive oils can taste very different. Giuliano and his wife Alessandra have more than 2,000 trees. So what's the difference? Okay, so we uh, made a distinction okay. according to the age of the trees. This is from trees that yes. uh, have more than 1,000 years. Have you got trees that are over 1,000 years yes, old? Yes, they can be 1,000, 2,000. Pre-Christ as well? Yes, definitely, oh, wow. yeah. Which one we should try first? We try with the in mille first, which okay. means thousand. I'm here to have a shot with you. Lachayam. Yeah, we try. Lachayam. Lachayam. Italian people tend to do this suction thing, so then uh, it kind of goes all over the palate. Yes. Beautiful flavor, really powerful. Okay. okay. Not too peppery, which no. is good, no, which and it goes away. Should we have another well, shot? Um, yes. Yeah. This is okay. more than 100 years. Archaeum. <coughs> it's already itching a little bit. Wow. Yeah. The first one was slightly bitter. This is slightly yes. milder. This is my opinion. Yes. Is your opinion? Yeah. This is from our youngest trees, 25, 30 years. There yes. you go. Not as strong as the other two. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. To friendship? Yes. Yeah. To family? Yeah. And to the olive tree? The older oils are sweet and strong and make good salad dressing. The younger, more bitter oil is better for cooking. So I'm using this to make a classic pasta dish for Giuliano and his family. This dish requires five ingredients. Spaghetti, it requires a good extra virgin olive oil, garlic, then you want chili, and a little bit of parsley. Simple as that. And the first thing we're gonna have to do is parsley. Flat leaf parsley, quite a lot. 
Huh? Rule number one, make sure that your saucepan at this stage is absolutely cold. Okay, happy with the parsley? So I got my garlic, four or five cloves of garlic. It has to be quite garlicky. So peel the garlic and start to roughly chop, and then we're gonna finally chop it. Now, put the parsley above the garlic and chop everything together. And whatever you do, there is no way that you're gonna blitz this one into an electric blitz because it's just not gonna work, yeah? It's gonna get all dark and, you know, gooey, sticky together. You want to do this one by hand, just the way I'm doing it. Olive oil goes in a pan, like that. Then straight in goes the garlic and the parsley. And then you're just gonna put the chili. I'm using the chili flakes, which they're gonna go in, and just a fresh chili. I'm gonna use half of it. A medium hot red chili will definitely do the job. Chili goes in, and only now is when you're gonna switch on the heat under your frying pan. As soon as you see the garlic and the chili that is start to sizzle, switch off straight away, your sauce is done. You know, you can make this one a little bit more sexy if you want. You can throw a few prawns in there, fresh cherry tomato, just cut them in a half and throw them in. If you learn the basic of spaghetti, aioli and peperoncino, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Okay, so this is perfect. So now I'm gonna go for the pasta. When you cook pasta, make sure that the water is boiling. In there, I'm going to add a handful of salt. There is nothing worse when people cook pasta in water where there is no salt. Spaghetti is traditional for this recipe, but linguine or tagliatelle also work well. Nearly there. Now, this needs another 30 seconds, so this is the moment now to put a little bit more heat under the oil, the garlic, and the chili. Okay, this is ready, so the pasta straight into the sauce. And see this little bit of water that it comes from the pasta? That is gonna make the sauce even better. Straight in. Look how the garlic, the parsley, the chili beautifully coats each strands of the spaghetti. Oh, yes. I wouldn't add any salt because remember we salted the water when we cooked the pasta. From here, straight into the serving dish. I mean, if I have to have my last plate of pasta ever, I can tell you right now, this is the one I would. Fantastico. Ragazzi pronti? Aglio e peperoncino. Bellissimo. Uh, no, le, le facciamo la... Sì, no, 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 uh, don't start, eh? The lady first. <laughs> Signora, mangiate, mangiate. Buon appetito. Grazie. Grazie. Marcello wants a pasta? Yes. <laughs> you want some pasta? <laughs> you want some pasta? When you get older, what you need to do, you need to get a boyfriend who can cook. Okay, so then you don't have to do any cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Non si vede niente, non si vede niente.